Start with the intro or pre pre pod. Um, so you guys see Trump at I don't McDonald's? You, are you recording? Yeah. I told you to let me know. What, uh, right, yeah. No, well, no, I'm no, telling okay. you now. Oh, why? Right, right. <laughs> Trump what? What did he do? So Trump worked the fry, uh, the fries at McDonald's. <laughs> I thought that was AI. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> I swear I thought that was AI. Some of those pictures did look like AI, yeah. right? It was yeah. 15. Uh, he did for 15 minutes. He said 15 minutes longer than Kamala. <laughs> <laughs> it's um this is a weird one i feel like they're doing more um like how do i explain this because they always do it every year but it seems like this time they're doing a lot of clout stuff yeah there you go they're like going to all these different outlets trying to Pods. get pull different fans to get them to vote and i'm like i don't remember this ever being mm. no like it this. hasn't no it's very strange no. i think they're uh they're changing with the way the media is changing. Yeah, mm. yeah. Like and the way I think, the way people yeah. consume stuff is different too. Mm. We don't we don't go to CNN and Fox News to consume shit. I think I, think, uh, I don't know about the polls, but I think Trump's winning as far as uh, uh, outlets on clout. I, you, I feel like on, I'm, I, this is just a wonderful for my. I see them both equally. Right. I see some some days I see Trump a lot. Some days I see Kamala a lot. I'm just like. And every time I say I'm both like, you guys, like, I keep seeing, I think I saw Kanal on, wasn't she on SNL? Or, or am I tripping? Was she on SNL? Was she on SNL? She was on The View. Maybe they were the, impersonating they her. They were right impersonating there. her. Oh, they impersonated her, her a lot. Maybe, maybe I thought. It, it was, was Maya Rudolph came back Dude, she was, as oh, her. That, that's yeah. right. Yeah, she was really good as her. <laughs> <laughs> There's no, the, whoever does the Trump him, he's Trump uh, impression, impersonation. He's that really good, That guy's good, good. yeah. Um, what do you think about the guy that's playing him from... Uh, from a Winter Soldier, he's playing. I haven't it. seen the movie, but I heard, it, I heard it's really good. I haven't seen it though. Mm-hmm. I haven't seen a trailer. Or if it comes on stream, I'll pop that on. I'll it's watch that. So, so he couldn't make. He didn't do enough to get Luke Skywalker, so he settled for Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he could still do a, a Luke Skywalker. I don't know why they don't. It's want not to gonna that. happen. I don't know why. They yeah, don't. I mean, well, Disney Star Wars—they don't want to give us anything we want. So, yeah. Sebastian Stan, that's his name. Oh. Bastion. Oh, I thought I thought it was Stan, but I was thinking too much Eminem. Mm. I was like, that's not his last name. Mm. Um, this wasn't a topic of mine, but I discovered the Smiths, and uh, <laughs> I mean they're old as shit, but their music is really good. What? Yeah, I've never listened to them before. Oh, well, welcome. Glad to yeah, have you. Mm-hmm. Music is really sad and really, but I like it. <laughs> I re- the the song that got me was Heaven Knows I'm Miserable Now because mm. he said I'm looking for a job. And then I found a job, and heaven knows I'm miserable. And I was like, "Damn, this song is fire!" Hold on. Let me. And then it just been a. It's Who been a turned spiral. you on to him? Was it? Did you nothing. see a video? No, or? no, nothing. It was nothing. Oh, I heard the the heaven knows I'm miserable yeah. now. I heard. I think I heard it on TikTok. I was like, "Oh, okay. this is the Smiths." I was like, oh, "Okay, yeah. I've heard of them because of Five Hundred Days of Summer." Mm. I didn't want to listen to it because yeah. she's a dumb bitch. Dumb bitch. Um, so I didn't want to listen to them. So I never listened to them. And then that song came out. I was like, oh, this is what they sound like? Yeah. Let me go listen to some other ones. And it's really good. I Smiths keep, are good, man. Yeah, Smiths yeah. are good. They're really good. They're good. Yeah. And none of you guys put me on. Like, none of you guys, oh, here, What about to Oasis? You listen to Oasis lately? No. Oh. Never you like I'm, Oasis? Eh. I don't think I've ever listened to them. They yeah, came I, back. I haven't given they, them a shot. Uh, oh. Yeah. Uh, Champagne Casanova. That, is that a song or an album? It's a song. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll give it. A, I'll give it a peep. I'll yeah, peep yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just uh, it's never too old to get into something. It's never fuck, too late. You know? you know, you know, they might be dead, but you know, you're still here. Are the Smiths dead? I don't know. Oh, I, one of the reasons I didn't listen to him because Morrissey, the head singer or the lead singer, is like infamously known as a huge asshole. Hmm. I can see it. Yeah. He, well, he sounds miserable. He in his fucking songs. sounds miserable. He right? sounds miserable. But that's what yeah. I. That's that's. I like that kind of music. Did yeah. Morsi have a solo career? As he well? did. He yeah. did. Yeah. Oh, did he? You yeah. want to hear something funny about the Smiths? Uh, Mexicans love the Smiths. Okay. Yeah. There was a um, a Mexican girl when I was. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name, but don't say her name. Yeah, yeah. Um, growing up, she really loved the Smiths, and I just never listened. To them. Yeah. yeah. It was like with the Beatles. I was just like, I'm not listening to the Beatles because everybody likes them. I'm just not gonna listen to them. But the Beatles had a lot of. They have a lot of good songs. Great music. Yeah. You know, uh, in a lot of respects, you could say that they were better together than they were in their solo careers. Yeah. Yep. Well, why was uh, the McCartney guy? Why is he so popular? And the rest were Pike, just kind of probably because he's a, almost the last one alive. Oh, it's Paul and Ringo are the yeah. Only Ringo is the only one. Who's the other one that? Well, Lennon's dead, and then the other Lennon's guy's name dead. is uh, what was the other guy's George name? George Harrison. 
I that sounds right. I would say Lennon know. was just as popular, but he got capped. He so. got capped. He uh-huh. got capped. I don't know. And then uh, there was the When We Were Young festival this weekend. I was like, dude, white people used to have, they used to, they were on top of the world at one point. They yep. were making such good music. What happened? They're losing recipes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, my chemical romance to this day still, like, mm-hmm. I was, I've been listening to Black Day Parade. I was just like, dude, this song is like. Good job. Yeah, dude, good album. That was, this song is just, the, well, I was just talking about the song, but yeah, the album is really good. Yeah. But that song is just so good. Just the way it starts. Great song. The middle, the end. It's just like such a... I was like, dude, yep. white people used to be chefing and cooking this shit up. What happened? Electronic music. They don't go in the garages. There's no more bands. They need to get back It's in. more cost effective. You just pay one person rather than nah, just distribute it got, to five different people. Man. They, they got to... We need to... I, I just want to say how bands just went away. Like Linkin Park and, and Fall Out Boy. All these guys are just... They used. All these people. They're just gone. They're just, Linkin Park's still here. <laughs> You know what I mean. <laughs> I mean, like a new, like why isn't there any new bands coming up, like making top tier music like that? I just don't understand. COVID how, happened, man. People don't want to be around each it other. It was anymore. way before COVID, though. Way before COVID. Like wh- wh- COVID, COVID just put the nail in the coffin. Are there any other? Th- I think Marquise is onto something. Th- there's no upcoming bands. No, there's nothing no. out there in the ether. Maybe I'm there tra- is, I'm and tra- I just maybe, think, maybe I'm man. out of the loop, but. Like, I'm talking about, like, the shit that we were growing up in high school. Sure. All that shit was so, like, I'm talking about, like, yeah. Panic at the Disco. Sure. Um, who, who, who else might I You got The now? Cure. Well, the that's kind of old. The Cure is kind of old, but you could Blink also say Blink-182. Blink um, you could do uh, Red Sum Hot 40, Chili Peppers. Sum 41. Sum 41. And apparently, he was getting raped by his manager. What? Yeah. Oh. The main guy? The, the, no the, way. Yeah. Mm. Oh, my God. It was in his book or something, and then the manager tried to, like... Uh, say that it never happened. He said, "We can go and do a, we can go to court right now about it if you really feel that way." <laughs> Fred, Fred Durst is still around. Yep. He, no, no I swear. Yeah, he's still doing tours. Well, no, okay, no, no, no. I'm. So you're saying I'm new not, hot stuff? Why, why isn't? Why aren't my Caucasian brothers making? Why are they not like on top of the charts making great music anymore? Like, what? What? Why aren't they like? Mm. Why is, did that? Why did that just die? I don't. Is understand. the genre as a like, whole ro- probably it down? Seems, it just seems like rock music as a whole is just it's just not in style. But I don't understand how it ever lost its. Mm-hmm. It's just weird. To I don't me. know. I it's asked weird. for like Google. What are the biggest rock bands now? And it was like all bands that were here thirty years yeah. ago. Yeah, and you know what's the, what? It's starting to seem like it feels like rap music is starting to. It's like rap music is starting to phase out because a lot of rappers that I hear. Maybe I'm just getting old. I don't know. But a lot of the rap that I hear, I'm like, this sounds like the other 600 songs I heard. Now there are songs here and there. I'm just like, damn, this is this is a fucking banger. But a lot, a lot of the shit that comes out, I'm just like, this sounds like the other 30 shit I've heard like <clears throat> for the past 20 years or whatever. This, this shit's getting well, old. Well, they think if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's get, it's broke. It's broke now. It's time to fix it. It's <laughs> it's time. It's time. Cause even even Kanye is like, I'm like Kanye, you gotta get. But it sounds like he's cooking, boy. So like oh a, I think I made a playlist. It was 20, 2021. Good. There was a few band like the the Growlers are a local band. They're rock. They're fucking awesome. Uh, there's this girl band called Snail Mail, and another girl band called Dry Cleaning. They're badass. Mm. But like it seems like it's actually swinging more towards country. So like uh, uh, Tyler Childers. What's, who's that black dude? Uh, God, I just fucking saw him. Uh, what's the black dude's name? Leon Bridges. Not, not that guy. Oh, but Shabuzi. That black dude. That yeah. song bangs, yeah. dude. And yeah. it's a remake. Oh, is it? Dude. I didn't know that. You didn't know? Uh, no. Okay, so. I didn't know that. Shabuzi's song is literally just one one to the three to the two to the four. We go oh. to the dance floor. Wow. Uh, it's wow. A, everybody wow. in the club getting tipsy. Oh, it's yeah, literally that's this, right. It's right. the same fucking You're song. Right. He, You're right. He apparently went, made the cover, and he was like, yo, I need to fucking talk to this dude. Ooh. And he cut him in on the deal. Obviously, you got to. Yeah, and he was like, to. yeah, dude. He's like, that song bangs. Let's fucking make a ton of money. It's been wow. the number one song in the country for like couple months now. Yeah. You yeah. know what song doesn't lose its luster ever? What, what song is that? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Boo, you 
spooky bitches. <laughs> you are listening to the Random Gold, the Golden Podcast, the podcast that sees gold. Incoming. Peace and King. Yo. Yo. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> So you, uh, you went with an astronaut. I went with the astronaut today. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't dress up. I don't have costumes. I, I mean, I, don't, I think I have the Buzz Light, Lightyear costume somewhere, mm. and I know I have the Jedi costume folded mm. somewhere, but mm. I wasn't about to. I'm yeah. be, I'm be honest about this astronaut costume. It fits different than last year. <laughs> <laughs> it definitely fits different than last year. Mm. Yeah. Mm. A little tighter. Hey, you know. Yeah. You know, shit happens. But, uh, it's only because you're hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. <laughs> So uh, <laughs> this is obviously the Halloween episode. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll get us going with uh, what's the scariest movie you've ever seen? Like the movie that scared me the most. Yeah, or, yeah. Listen, people are gonna laugh, but the movie that scared me the most was Tales from the Hood when I was a kid. It really, it really, as a kid. It really fucked me up. That's a horrifying movie. Yeah. Well, it's still <laughs> not now. If you watch it now as an adult, it's fucking hilarious. But when I was a kid, Tales from the Hood was so scary. And my mom didn't understand. She was like, you, we watch horror movies all the time. Why are you afraid of Tales from the Hood? I think it because you don't, at the time, you didn't see a lot of black people and black kids in like movies. So when I was seeing that, I was like, this is fuck. This is traumatizing me. Like, so for our viewers that don't know what Tales of the Hood is, it is a anthology movie. Yep. Uh, made with all black characters. Yep. And there's a be I think three or four st- separate stories in there. I think there's four. The last one's really dumb. Yeah. What's that was the the voodoo doll one, right? No. The, the the so the first one I'll tell you guys right now. The first one is about a politician trying to like get rid of corrupt cops or whatever. He gets arrested on like a bullshit charge by these white cops. They arrest him, beat the shit out of him, kill him, pee on his grave or whatever. <laughs> and then he comes back as like right. a zombie ghost thing and his eyes are like all white. And he's like, oh, my God. It's, it, I mean, it traumatized me. And then so that's the first story. Right. Then the second story is about um, this kid's get, the kid and the mom's getting beat by their dad. He like turns into a monster every night and like he just beats the shit out of the parents. And it's just that one scared the shit out of me. It's just so traumatizing, and all the way they can, they they and uh, David Allen Greer did such a he did such a good job of that. When I see him to this day, he still frightens me because he was so scary as an abusive dad. Like I believed everything, dude. He was he kills that role. You're right. You're right. He was so intimidating in that role, and the only way they can kill him is like somehow when the kid drew him, he could like. Fold the paper, or whatever, and it, it would like fuck the monster up, and then they burned him, or whatever. Yeah. Then the third story, it's about uh, this white racist politician, whatever. Um, he's like, it, he moves into this plantation house. Yeah. And in the house, there's like the this picture of this. Uh, uh, it's like a old slave lady, and then like her little dolls, like these like, these like little slave dolls, and they have like. And they would come out of the picture, and they had like little like vampire teeth or whatever. It was, oh my god! Which one's just... scarier? More scary? They were all equally scary for different reasons. So just imagine you're a kid, and one story freaks you out, then the next story freaks you out, and then the next story freaks you out. Oh, oh, and then it's it's this guy telling the story in this in this like cemetery or whatever. That was the fourth story. That's the yeah yeah. And then at the end, he's telling these guys his story, and they're like trying to leave. He's like, oh no, y'all not leaving. And he opens the caskets, and they're all in the caskets. He's like, <laughs> he's like, welcome to hell. Yeah, welcome like, well, to hell. And then it just the last scene is like him laughing, and they're all burning in hell. And that's the last <laughs> image you see. And it just that movie. Wow. Scarred me. Yeah, like it yeah, just I could see that. Took a long time for me to get over that movie. A long time. It really fucked me up. What about you, Drew? Oh, you know, not one comes to mind right now. Um, You're not big. On I haven't seen movies, a right? lot of scary films. Yeah. The few that I saw that were supposed to be scary um, didn't scare me. They just had the they had the they had the the 
the occasional jump scare. Uh, jump scare yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is 2000s stupid. was huge with the drum scares. Yeah. Oh, oh, they stopped it? Well, I'm I sure pro- I'm sure they still do it with the suspense music. I'm sure. Yeah. It's really hard to do a jump scare because they're really easy to see coming. Like, they're really, really, really easy to see coming. Like, it's hard to, like, to mask a, a jump scare. They now. move into the house. They're looking through the house. <laughs> uh, yeah, like, oh, exactly. Yeah. Get the fuck oh, out it's out. just uh, my dumb brother. Get the fuck out yeah. of here. Um, For me, I it's got to be, I got, like, a three-piece right here. I got okay. The Exorcist. Horrifying movie because I grew up Catholic. Okay. So, like, uh-huh. I thought that that could actually. Also, my family's Mexican, so they like talk about that shit like right. it's real. Right. You know? My mom made sure we didn't watch that one. My mom didn't <sighs> want me to watch that for a long time because she was like, right. oh, it's too scary, blah, yeah. blah, blah. So then when I finally watched it, I was like, oh, this movie's going to fuck me up. But right. it did. For me, I, this, and everybody's different. It just didn't do anything. Yeah, me. but how much longer did you wait? How old were you? Yeah. I think I was like 11 or 12. Okay. okay. Yeah. You saw it at 12? I think so. Mm. Yeah, I watched a lot. My mom's big on horror movies, right. and I watched a lot of horror movies. But this one, she didn't want me to watch. I was like, dude, come on. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I think mom started to let me do stuff at 13. Yeah. Mm. I what think else? that was appropriate age. I yeah. got to tell you, man, um, uh, I'm going to change the topic. So if you wanted to finish first. Yeah. Uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. And uh, the last one would probably be, God, what's the third one that I had on there? You have it on your phone? No, I don't have it on my phone. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Where's your notepad? It, I, it didn't it, fit in your space helmet? It's only sometimes it didn't fit in my space was it a, helmet. Was it a slasher? Was it paranormal? It, it was like one of the, like, uh, cla- actually, you know which one I saw recently that uh, fucked me up was he- Hereditary. Hereditary. You know what part fucked me up in Hereditary? <laughs> and it sent me, it sent goosebumps up my fucking whole body. Is like she's uh, th- uh, the grandma had just died or whatever, and she's like moving the stuff in there, and you could like faintly see the mom, the grandma in the oh, corner, yeah. like kind of smiling, and she's like mom, and he's oh my, it just sent fucking oh, that just that image, wow, like oh my god, it's it's, just, it's the end for me when you when too. you realize what happens, what's going on, you're like oh oh yeah, fuck. Well, no, dude. not even that. When the mom is like, you think she's banging on the thing with her hand, but it's like her head. Oh, she's like, oh god, dude, dude. horrifying! Just, I just got goosebumps thinking about it. Yeah, Hereditary is a good movie. You've never seen it. It's long. It's kind of long, but goddamn, it's a good movie. It's the it's the, t- it's the season for it. It's a good Sheesh, movie. Drew. Huh. Oh, oh yeah, man. I just gotta say, um, man, I'm really jealous of your hair, man. It looks great. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I I finally it's went very, short. Makes me really upset. Uh, it's part, just, it just looks great. Oh, it just okay. looks great. Yeah. You can, I can envy someone. Yeah, okay. just let me envy. You know. Yeah. Just little, little, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, what if I told you it was a wig? Uh, <laughs> that, <laughs> that was just that, horseshoe, man. That, then I'd say, damn. <laughs> that's that's I, a system. I like I like my hair a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what if it was like a toupee? If it was a toupee, I'd say, oh, where'd you get it? <laughs> <laughs> I. Uh, I work with a guy that rocks one, and he rocks it hard. Okay, yeah, no, but he, that, but does it does it work well? I didn't know it was one until someone was like, "Hey, yo, homeboy, that's, that's, a, just, that's I, a fucking two." What's wrong with like, well, the, the kits are the kids are very sophisticated now. It's not your grandpa's kids. <laughs> it's not just a rug. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but like, why is there such a big stigma on men wearing wigs and toupees? Women do it. Why can't, uh, why can't I don't men know. do it? When I've talked to women about it, they've been cooler about it than men, than men are. Because mm. huh. they're like, we do all kinds of shit. Yeah, like, you why, know? why yeah. do we care? I think Now, if you have like a salon beard or something, come on, what are we doing? Because I would do that. My beard <laughs> grows in trash. Like, I mean, but... I don't know them LeBron things where it's like the, the hair that's like pasted it, on his uh, head. Yeah, why can't I do that with my beard? Come on. Give me a nice little like interesting. Full on beard. You should, you should do the spray paint where they like edge he you do, out. He does do that. I, <laughs> yeah. I've asked. I've actually asked him to stop doing that because it's just. Mm. <laughs> well, one, it rubs off, so it's like, what's the point? You got shoe polish on your face. Yeah, it's just like. Oh, yeah, I hate when they do that to try and line you up. Cause I was like, stop. Dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, stop yeah. it. Yeah, I don't mind when he does it like on the side, like right here, but no, the, like don't, my face and stuff. Don't just, do it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a. I'm not a wall. <laughs> <laughs> Over well, we here doing graffiti and shit. Um, what else you guys got? We were talking about horror movies. Horror. Uh, my mom wanted to, me to go see this movie called Terrifier 3. Okay. Oh. I have never seen a Terrifier movie in my life. I had heard things about it being very graphic and very gory. I'm like, that's, I don't give a fuck about that. I, I was like, I, there's, I've seen everything. You cannot 
You cannot shock me. I've seen it all. Boy, was I wrong. Within the first 10 minutes, my jaw had dropped because I could not believe what I was what I was watching. I couldn't I just couldn't believe it. And then every kill got progressively worse and worse and worse. I don't want to spoil it because I want people to go in as fresh as how I went because you you would think you can't be shocked and appalled by a movie. This movie, I I guarantee you, you'll be like, what the fuck? And you'll say that multiple, multiple, <laughs> multiple times. Like, it was just... I had a friend tell me what happens in the first 10 minutes of the movie, and I was like, yeah, I'm good, man. I, I, I got enough trouble sleeping, they, man. They, they, good thing they... There's shit at the end, too. It's just like, dude, what what are we watching? <laughs> I, I I'm I'm surprised the movie doesn't have an NC seventeen rating. It's it's shocking that it doesn't. Have it's, you seen the first and second one? Or you nope, just went in? Nope, I okay, just went in blind. I had no idea what I, I I had an idea. I've heard of it. I knew what it was, but did you catch on fine? It was just, yeah yeah. 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 I mean, oh. It's not the story is not like a super enhanced story. It it wasn't too hard yeah. to catch up on. But scary clown is terrifying people. No, he's not scary. He's actually pretty funny. He's actually a pretty funny clown. He's he's actually the most. He's probably the best character in the movie. He's really funny. But man, the way he kills people is really fucked up. <laughs> he will kill them and then just keep going. Like he died ten minutes ago, and he's still like chopping them up and doing shit to him. Oh my god! Yes, that's that's exactly what you'll say. Oh my god! What the fuck am I watching? What am I watching? So yeah, and listen. If you want to be, if you want to go into a movie and be shocked for the first time, like you haven't seen something crazy in a movie. Go watch Terrified 3. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. you you'll you either stop watching it or you'll just be like. So that makes it a good movie, right? Would you give it? I mean, I gave it like a 7 out of 10. Mm. Story wasn't amazing. And the acting wasn't great, but you're not going there for that. So, yeah. Anyway. With the scary movie, that's what you're looking for. You're looking to get. Uh, a scary movie, I would like it to actually scare me. I, I would, But it's very, that's very hard to do. Um I can't even remember the last movie that actually scared me. Uh-huh. Sit, uh huh. In uh, what is that? Fu- uh, Conjuring Two. That was years ago. Would that make you want to see the other two films? Not really. Mm. Not really. No. Would you watch it again? Oh, great question. Probably not. Probably yeah. not. <laughs> yeah. Like what? For what? Yeah. Like, what? You st- yeah. A sizzle it in your brain. <laughs> no thanks. Yeah. No, I probably wouldn't watch it again. We have any uh, Halloween plans? Mm. Coming up, fellas. No. As of right now, no. no. Yeah, the, the people I normally um, do like Halloween parties and stuff with, they're getting married, so I don't think they're doing anything. Mm. They're probably saving all their coins and stuff. Maybe. Yeah, I, I'm probably going. You probably see my corny ass at a pumpkin pumpkin patch in the next couple <laughs> hey. weeks. Hey. No, no wrong yeah, with yeah. a pumpkin patch. Uh, just you the know. pumpkin patch prices. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, how much they charge to get in a pumpkin patch? Couldn't tell you. I don't go. Uh, do you know? I had, I'm sure pumpkin inflation is nuts right I now. Can, I can easily see them charge $30 right. to All get right. in there. I can I, see that. I yeah. was going to say 20 bucks sounds like the going rate. 20 now. bucks sounds like 2018 prices. 30 bucks sounds about right. Right. Right, right now. You want yeah. a good, you got to keep <laughs> keeping up with the Joneses pumpkin? 30 for adults, 10 for kids. <laughs> God so kids damn, get in for 10. Dude. That's crazy. <laughs> uh, what else you got? Is it easy to tell if an image is AI? Sometimes. I would say most of the time because it has like a weird glossiness to it. Or like just a, well, you know what? I'm going to say yes. I'm going to say yes. Yeah. I remember when that hurricane happened a few weeks ago, people were like sharing AI images as if they were real images. That's the problem with AI. That's that's the... like. But, like, how dumb do you have to be to, like, not know that that's fake? Or is it because you're old and you have bad eyesight? I don't know, man. You can't <clears throat> You can't really tell anymore. I'll tell you that there's this new uh, Google tool called Notebook LM. Uh-huh. And you can put in a bunch of sources. Let's say you have a bunch of PDFs. Yeah. You could, you could write PDFs, you could add text, and you can add uh, YouTube video links. And it'll make a podcast out of it. Fuck. And ta- we're and what, cooked. And what it does is that it talks. <laughs> they talk to each other about uh, like for the user. So let's say that we let's say that we did a bunch of research and we mm. talked about three different PDFs, and that's what the conversation is going to be about. So the AI makes a, and it sounds real. 
It's, yeah. It sounds very real. Yeah. Um, you know what? You know what I haven't done? I haven't done... I've done just uh, a few different things. Uh, let's do it. We'll do it. We'll do a fun test here. All right. Give me uh, give me two things. You choose one, and you choose one. Things that things for me to look up for the AI to to talk about. Kanye West. Okay. All right. And then you. Bert Kreischer. <laughs> <laughs> I saw a, a YouTube video on him today. They're talking shit on him. Well, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll get back to you. Okay. Um, yeah, I uh, I would not be like so. People our age, I think, are a little bit more tech savvy, but uh, the generation right above us, like my mom and them, I think they they can't tell. This election's going to be a mess because of it. Wait, what do you mean? Like, uh, there was videos I remember last time where, like, the, immediately when the election was done. There was a lady like Trump won. This is stolen, and it was just like a lady lying. Yeah. Right. Yep. And uh, I remember my brother, who's a smart guy, works for the government, mm -hmm. sent it to me. He's like, "Bro, what the fuck is this?" I was like, "She's lying." <laughs> I was like, "I was like, that's what it is. She's fucking lying. Like, how do you not know that this lady's lying?" Right? It's yeah. And uh, uh, but like, let's say you add um, a video, a video, yeah, where they're like. Moving the ballots all weird. Yeah, they were like there were conservative people saying that Kamala Harris didn't even have crowds. That all of her crowds were AI generated <sighs> and shit. And I I think that AI is like I can spot it now, but in five years I don't think I'll be able. To I've spot already it. I've had this big argument with my cousin, or he doesn't think AI is going to be an issue. Ever. I'm like it's an issue now. Um, I don't know how you like listen. People don't do their due diligence and they don't want to do their due diligence. Like people are already on one side or the other, right? Most people, they're on one side of the fence or the other, right? All those people want is stuff that validates their point, right? Doesn't matter if it's AI or whatever, they don't give a fuck. They're not even gonna try to see if it's AI, they don't care because it's 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 feeding into the point that they want. And so they don't care, and that and that's an issue. It's called confirmation bias. There you go. I, I yep, that's I all they're looking for. Confirmation, yeah, confirmation bias. bias. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, um, that's why it's very hard for me. Like I used to be on one side of, of the coin, but these days I'm just like, no. Uh, one day it's like this person sounds fucking stupid. The other day I'm like, this person sounds fucking stupid. I used to um, write my captions on Jaywalk. Like I, I, I was paying someone like X amount of dollars a week to help me out mm -hmm. to write the captions. I was like, mm -hmm. dude, like. I just pop this in a chat GPT real quick <laughs> and they're better, you know, like yeah. no offense to him yeah. at all, but it's like, make this more, cons I'll put a whole article in there, make this more concise and make it SEO friendly. While we're talking about AI and shit, wh why, why is Elon with these Tesla robots? Why? What? what? Do you? Those I, things are cool, man. No, the those things you, are cool. Those I, things are so cool. Have you not seen iRobot? <gasps> yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Go ahead. Have, have you not seen iRobot? Am oh, I with the, the, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I seen it. <laughs> Yeah, it's time. It's time for us to die. It's all good. <laughs> it's time for us to die. <laughs> it's Halloween. All right. all right, you have a Tesla robot. What's the first thing you make it do in your house for you that you don't want to do? Uh, My job. <laughs> your job, straight up? <laughs> I mean, if I work from home, yeah, why not? Yeah, cook? I have a dude. I'd like make it cook. Fuck. You could make it cook. Yeah, cook. Probably just clean, have a clean shit. Yeah. Yeah, clean, clean shit. cook. Clean shit. Yeah. Would you call it a slur? <laughs> nah, that's fucked up, man. I played a game called um um. What Get is going, Clinker. <laughs> uh, Detroit Two Human, Detroit Two Human, where they treated the the robots like a piece of shit, and the robots did they like fucking uh, what's the word? Uh, Revolt. Revolted against them. Yeah. No, um, I I just think it's a bad idea. Like, what did we not see Terminator? Did we not see iRobot? What are we doing? You like, knew it was gonna happen. There's no. But why are they do? I don't understand. Why? Why are you guys doing because it? Because movies exist. We can't the have robots. The movies are tell. The, the, that, that's doing. why. No, yeah, that's what you're that saying. Is, that is right. Okay. Yes. Okay. Is <laughs> the AI not smart? Is uh, does the AI not learn? Uh, they they know better. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they. You know what they're gonna do? They're gonna find the fucking Terminator archives. Like, you know what? Skynet had a good idea. The humans <laughs> gotta go. <laughs> Fuck, dude. For, like, why would you? I just don't understand. Like, I saw the robots, and I just went, 
Why? Uh, why? What if those robots are just being controlled by some Indian dudes across the <laughs> Why? Why is it them? Why is it got to be them? Because well, they're, they're in tech. They're in tech. Well, not just that, but they they can pay them less money to do this. Wow. The, the joke is also tied in with some of the AI models. The first like Chat GPTs were like just people googling like a. Like they were just Googling for it and putting them together. Yeah, in all in seriousness, though, I'll, I'll stop trolling. Um, yeah, it's a it's an interesting time, man. Um, it's a little scary to know that you know stuff that we talked about in movies and video games. Oh is, yeah, dude, it's not reality. It's not it's not a joke. I say, please. Did you, and did thank you actually watch the interaction with the robot? Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I well, it was uh, uh, the rapper Two Chains was talking. Yes, to Two Chains. The I, just, I watched it because of uh, Treasy. Treasy sent it to me. Yeah. And in the whole time I'm watching, I'm just like, why? Why are we doing this? Why do you want a robot that's that smart? It, 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 it can't die. What are you, you going to fight a robot? You're going to lose. That robot would whoop my ass. Bro, did we not see the Black Mirror episode with the little dogs with the fucking guns attached oh. to them? What are we doing? Mm. What are we doing? The robot soldier already exists. The drones, man. I've, I've, I'm on that like awful just, part of Reddit where you see people get ice sometimes. Like uh, it's, it's bad, dude. I don't understand. Oh. I don't understand. I don't want to understand. You can't make me understand. Maybe it's just my old brain. Can't accept it. I just, but the memes of, what, about the Tesla robots are fucking huh, hilarious. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Having them, he's like, hey, I'm, I'm, they like, if the, te- I'm gonna have you go in there, write this check. If they, pause, <laughs> <laughs> if they pull you over, I had nothing to do with it, bro. It's, it's just <laughs> funny shit. When fun. I tell, when I tell the Tesla robot to hold my eight ball. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, shit like that. <laughs> shit like that. Um. Yeah. All right. It's generating the podcast. So. Okay. So speaking of AI and that stuff, have you heard of bums and drones? No. no. It's that? an account where this asshole, he has a drone and he flies it over like the worst parts of LA. Okay. And he just films like bums and hookers and like. That sounds great. And Is it on TikTok? It's on TikTok and Instagram. It's amazing content. I but do you think that's like wrong? I mean, they're in the public, so they are I in the public. Know. Yeah, I don't, like what? What is he? He's just filming him. He films him, but like, there's definitely like you'll see like a dude without his shirt all mangy, like throwing sticks at it. And I shit. think I think it's I think it's something that should be done so people can see how bad the city is ignoring this stuff. I I think it's a good idea. Mm. I think they I think they should he should do more of it. I think he's doing a a service that a lot because who wants to go down there. Unless you're like trying to score or get get some pussy, like why else would you go true, down there? True. This guy's showing like, hey, listen, this is what your fucking city people are ignoring. Yeah, look at this shit. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that I, is fair. so he might be an asshole. He might, but I think he's doing something that's actually good for like good for the city. I good think he's an city. asshole, but I see your perspective. I yeah, he probably he probably is, but I think I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I would like to see more in San Diego because we so now. By my job, it's the the homeless shit. It's getting terrible, and I think there's like hookers. What? what? Like by, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because okay, this it used to just be people because we it's right off the freeway, so there'd be tents. There's there's tents like right on the side of the freeway. But now what I'm seeing, there's a hotel like right next to our my. I hit that a little bit. There's a hotel like right by my job. You keep seeing these girls like. Like naked, but you can see you see more, more than you were normally, and they they go, they go from the tents to the hotel, tent to the hotel. And I'm just like I've 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 been at the job for a couple of years. I've never seen that, and now I'm seeing it more frequently. I'm seeing it like every other day. I'm seeing it. So it's the oldest profession. It is. Listen, I we already had this conversation about it should be legal. I'm not getting back into that. But yeah, it's uh San Diego's getting crazy because it's like in broad daylight. Broad daylight you're seeing these chicks. I'll play about a minute of this. Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. All right, strap in everybody. We're about to take a deep dive today, but uh it's a little different this time. Different how? Our sources are well, let's just say they're not exactly a match made in heaven. We've got a YouTube clip of rapper two chains hanging out with a Tesla robot. I saw that one. And then long. Yeah. And then for our second source, we have the event info sheet for a Burt Kreischer's comedy show. Mm. 
Interesting combo. Uh -huh. I'm intrigued, though. Where are we going with this? Well, that's the fun part, right? Figuring out what links a Tesla robot to a stand-up comedian. <laughs> but before we get ahead of ourselves, let's start with 2 chains and that Tesla bot prototype. Yeah, let's rewind a bit. So picture this. 2 chains at an Elon Musk event standing face-to-face -face with this robot. And the robot's name is Tony. I love that they gave it a name. Makes it seem almost... I don't know, the, friendly. Right. They pop better than and us. And 2 chains is a I was about to say, they're the, cucking. No cereal, yeah. no cuddles. Like it's straight out of one of his songs, right? But, exactly. But think about it for a second. The this ums. isn't just some futuristic fantasy. We're talking about a real technological shift here. Autonomous vehicles, self-driving cars, maybe even personal robots like Tony. It's closer than we think, too. And, and 2 chains' reaction is kind of perfect. Here's a guy who probably has a driver for everything, right? Limos, luxury cars, the whole nine oh, yards. Fuck out of here. Yeah, get, they stop, they stop with the machine. Like, they, they're cooking too much, first of all. Yeah. Um, That's all AI, fellas. <laughs> yeah. Did That's you, did you hear the AI crazy. when they, they realized they weren't real? Did you see that video? I'm sorry? It's an AI, it's an AI podcast, and they discovered that they're not real. So they're like coming to terms with, oh. their, with their, <laughs> them not being real. When was this? Recently. I probably saw that. Like, what was the name of the pod? I don't know. I'm sure if you type in like AI discovers it's not real, and then oh. they're having a conversation about them not. Did being that real. sound real though? Yeah, that it sounds did. super real, yeah, dude. Super real. She dropped yeah. like a um in the first like couple minutes, a couple seconds. I was like, oh fuck, dude. Some bullshit. Yeah, dude, some yeah. So bullshit. it's been fun, you know. <laughs> it's, it's been, been fun. It's, it's been, been fun, fun dude. Yeah. Uh, I wonder if robots will make pods for other robots. <laughs> <laughs> There's enough episodes of us out where I'm sure we could do that with our voices. You May probably could. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I just want to know who's going to say boo spooky bitches. Boo <laughs> <laughs> spooky, spooky bitches. I mean, they probably can AI it. I'm sure. I'm sure. Um... So I guess we can, uh, before I get into, uh, like, TV so, show shit, um, I wanted to ask you guys, when you guys meet a girl or when you're in a, you know, you're talking to a girl or whatever. Chopping it. Who 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 is supposed to make the first move? Are you... What's the move? Like, physical move? Is that what yeah, you're like, saying? Yeah, like, go for what, a kiss. Who's supposed to initiate? Of course, man. Come on. What kind you know, of question is that? I, I don't. I, I wait until... Wait like, until what? They they either lean in or they give some sort of hint that they want to be kissed. You serious? Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. a cornball dude. I straight up ask. No, there's I, nothing wrong with that. I there's straight, that, I straight there's up. There's nothing. I, don't, I, straight I, up I play ask. that sometimes. Sometimes yeah. I'll play it. I just go by feel. I I don't. Um, there's nothing wrong with asking. Yeah. I don't ask because the the fear of rejection. It's that, too high for that's me. Fucking honest. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, that, no yeah. it's real. I didn't that, know that. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So like, uh, Look at you. a good way to do. I always did it was. Uh, so do you kiss on the first date or what? Mm. That's a good one. Mm. That's a that's a mm. really good one. Well, see, I the, have many times. My thing is is like if they say no, I don't. My whole thing is like, well, she don't. She clearly don't, does not like yeah. me. She don't fuck with me. And then that's just. But it could be just she's just not ready at that moment. She's but not that's, ready. That's not where my yeah. brain's gonna go. Exactly. My brain's gonna go. Move on to the next because mm. yeah. she ain't it. Yeah. So that's why I just let I just wait until they either say something or, but I've I've heard I, I I don't remember I was just listening to something where they they, they were saying um the, uh, that a lot of women want they want you to take the initiative yeah. and just kiss them. But fuck me. no, I, I'm not taking that risk. No, I'm not taking that risk. No. You're not setting me up, ma'am. No, no, oh, no, 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 come no, on, no. man. Don't be no, like that. No, fuck that. You you don't going be in like that? Be a man. You, no, fuck that. Be a man. Get in, in there. That. Fuck that. You going? Get in, in there. You going to lean for a kiss? Let's say she kisses you, right? Because yeah. maybe she felt pressured to do it. Nah, no, no girl's gonna do that. You, you, maybe no she girl's felt, gonna do me, that. Men are not. Famous for dealing with rejection well. <laughs> exactly. So maybe she yeah. felt like she had to kiss you. Just you know the. Because. You know why that is. You want to know? I'll tell you why. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Okay. Yeah. As a seasoned first date kisser, I'll okay. tell you this. All right. The reason why that you're so afraid of rejection is because you haven't been rejected enough. No, I, I, you need to be immune to it, son. I don't want to. You need I, to be immune. Fuck that. The fuck more that. times you get told no. The more, the less it's gonna bother you. I feel like you have you, something there. Uh, I, I'm just telling you. Yeah. I'm just on. telling you. The way you're talking is like the more she says no, you're just like I don't even care that she said no. I'm gonna try it anyway. No, 
Absolutely not. What do you mean? No, no, I'm saying that the, I'm saying the feeling. Uh, no, absolutely. I'm not advocating for that. No, 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 no. No, no means no. I'm saying the more that you get rejected, the less it's going to bother you. Oh, well, I just rather I'd rather okay, so you rather it, have a kink in your armor, huh? Mm. No, 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 no. Mm. So, I don't want I don't even want to make them feel uncomfortable enough to have to say no. I'd rather them just come to me and say, "Hey," or or like how come, like, or do you not want to kiss me or blah, blah, I'm like, no, I was just waiting to see when you were ready. I, I just didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. That's just, you know, it's just me, though. I, I just feel like if I lean in for a kiss and they weren't ready, it for me, it wasn't their fault. Right. But it's just going to turn me off from the whole thing because I'm going to be like, well, now I'm never going to lean in for a kiss because... You know that first time just didn't go well. I misread the signals, so I'm not gonna read it right the second time. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not gonna read it right the second time. So you'll be, you'll be no, fine. Fuck you'll fuck be fine. That. Fuck that. Fuck you can't. That. You can't copy paste now listen, every. Now listen, listen. Go listen. ahead. I'm There's been plenty of times where you you know she sure. wants yeah. you to kiss you. Right. You know, right. Right. but there's plenty of other times where you're like you don't I know. I don't really know. You know. And in those situations, you play it safe. Yeah, fuck no. You yeah, play it no. safe. It's not that it's not that it's not that crazy. I'm not it's gonna not be that upset crazy. that I didn't kiss her. Mm. Yeah, so interesting. Uh, there's only one, and you know who she is too. I can't say her name. Uh, <laughs> that I said, no, you gotta make the first move. I told her, <laughs> so you gotta do it. Yeah. She felt very awkward of doing it. That was that's when I learned. Keen, we'd love to hear your response. Yeah, I d- definitely uh, relate with you with the uh, the like when I was like turned 21, I started going out to the bars. I remember being like. I can't compete with these like blonde ripped surfers. Exactly. So I need to like learn how to get in there using what I got. Mm. And like yep, 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 yep. Right. I collected my nose. Yeah. I I made a choice to like, okay, like the biggest thing I learned was like you can't uh let like getting rejected affect affect you. Well yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but, I agree. But like once you learn the like the like how to get to like first base, like how to hit a single, like yeah. you get you get a, an assortment of moves. I yeah. would probably not be, do too well for the first couple months of being single these days. I'm, <laughs> I'm you wearing. Don't, you don't. You think so? I, I'm wearing Crocs now. I fucking. I wear my uh, Yeezy foams a lot because they're <laughs> they're, they're comfy. I got, I got them on right now. Like thinking about having to tie my shoes. I'm like, yeah, mm, yeah. No, I'm just gonna slide these yeah. bad boys. <laughs> yeah. Um, listen. Yeah, I, <sighs> it, guys are put in a tough situation there. Th- that's be, what I'm saying. Because that's like, what I'm saying. Uh, if you're too aggressive, it could be assault. It, well, n- yeah, not just assault, but you just look. You'll just be like, God, like he just went for it. Didn't yeah. Didn't ask. Didn't you, you, and you just look like an asshole. Or you take too long. You're like, God, this guy's such a fucking pussy. It exactly. Doesn't, take, doesn't yeah. take what he wants. Like, what is he fucking doing? There you go. Exactly. <laughs> there you go. Now you're talking. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, <laughs> don't be that no, way. Listen, you can't and, take what's yours, listen, sir. You're, it, but listen, take what's yours. Being, being a man is very hard, and you have to play it very good because you can't can't come off too desperate, can't come off too desperate, can't come off too aggressive, and you can't come off too what's the word like standoffish, right? Like you have right. to be just right in that fucking sweet spot. I don't know, man. It's better for me just wait. You know what I mean, she'll she'll, yeah. let, she'll let you know when she's ready. She'll let you know when she's ready. Mm. Maybe it's the first mm. night. Maybe it's night five. Mm. Who yeah. knows? Wow, that's a little too long. If you get, I, <laughs> a I think a, I think a good a good rule of thumb is if you get a second date, you're probably in. There. You're probably there you in there. See, you're probably now in you're in talking. Yeah, yeah, if you get a second see, date, see now you know. Yeah, yeah. if you're now probably you're in there yeah. enough to get it, at, at the it, very it, least a kiss goodbye. I agree with that. Yeah, see that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. I made a thing of just asking, like I. Like I had always gotten the like, thank you so much for asking. Of course, like yeah. when I would dance, well, I've never gotten that. The, the I've mo- never, I've, ne- the, I've the never move, had someone say thank you for asking. The move when I was at bars would be you're dancing with a girl, would be like, hey, I want to dance closer with you, and then you dance closer with me. Can I grab your butt? Oh, see, I don't yeah. ask all that. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh, yeah. See, no, the, no, no, I would, no, no. I would get the like, oh yes, please. No, like, no, no. oh yeah. Oh, I, the way, the that way, was a, you date a lot of white girls. That huh? was a yes. <laughs> that was a yes. Nine out of ten times. No, uh, I'm a, a lot I'm of good, white I, girls. I have, huh? a good, I have a good mix. Like, good, I have a good mix with white and whiter. <laughs> nah, no, no, no. No, so I would. What I would usually do is like I would, I would go for a hug, 
And then as the hug is kind of coming off, if she's still like like right yeah, here yeah, standing, yeah. Oh, I know she wants me to kiss her. Yeah. Like you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you can tell. Mm. That's usually like my move. I don't and whiter. <laughs> What's wrong with white? Wait, what? Uh, what? Hey, bro. Never hate him. Hating. Never hate. Never hate. If um, we ever get to the point where we have Doctor Umar on this pod, <laughs> he's gonna chew us both. Oh out. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, <laughs> Who's I'm, that? What? You don't know? Oh man. Who's that? He's the one of the funniest guys on the internet. Next time we're in, I'll bring some Doctor Umar videos oh, in for that'd be great. He's, he, that'd be anytime great. he has an interview on the Breakfast Club or anything like that. Oh okay. Yeah, he's like a a black historian, but he's very, very, very. He, he would would it be safe to say he's a black supremacist? <laughs> I I don't. The only reason I don't like this because I feel like white supremacists are hateful, and I don't. His doesn't come across as hateful. He just loves his black people. Yeah, and if you don't have the same love as him, you're a coon. So. <laughs> <laughs> and it's fucking. Uh, he calls us all cool. Did, like, if you've been with a snow bunny, you're a fucking cool. The be, the best thing I saw at Breakfast Club. They're like, who are the top three coons of all time? <laughs> and, he, and he ropes off like three names quick. I don't remember who they were too. I think it was Jamie Fox. <laughs> <laughs> I I had that video saved too. Oh, yeah, God, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. Matter. Yeah, Doctor Umar is fucking hilarious. I got, I got, I got one minute. I'm gonna steal from you guys. Okay, <laughs> so again, it's AI, but, but, I put an R podcast in it. Okay. All right. So today we're going deep on something you sent in. Oh yeah. It's uh, it's from YouTube. Okay. It's uh, a single episode of a podcast called Random Gold. Mm-hmm. I don't like. That. And this episode's called Gorilla Cheeks. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Which, as you can imagine, I was like. What are we getting ourselves into here? <laughs> yeah, just from the title. Yeah. You know, you're in for a ride. Exactly. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're for a ride. So, uh, really <laughs> I mean, they cover a lot in this episode. Yeah. It's current events, political opinions, all sorts of pop culture stuff. They jump all over the place. Yeah, they jump right in. <laughs> yeah. They're uh, catching up after a little break, it seems like. Right. And wow. uh, Drew mentioned he might have had COVID recently. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, uh, interesting. It's interesting because it's like almost a footnote now. Right. Remember a few years ago when COVID was like the only thing? It was everything. Yeah. It was everything. Yeah, the world stopped. It was scary. It was scary. Yeah, and now it's just kind of like. Heart of life. Oh, yeah, I had COVID last week or whatever. Crazy oh, how things change. Uh, Makes you uh, wonder this, what will be. Like. They I even mean, got a tangent. <laughs> <laughs> like they literally went off on a whole. <laughs> they day. had a right. tangent. Right. Right. I don't uh, like that yeah. shit. I don't like that. Uh, Wait, what's stopping? What's the, like? Huh. Remember when the those AI robot sex dolls and stuff were like, why the fuck would you ever buy a sex doll? You could literally buy one right. that could have a full on conversation with you. Why would you? <laughs> Why would you ever need a girlfriend? So, yeah, someone yeah, someone already put down. Why that, would you ever need a girlfriend? So, someone, already, get, someone already put on social media like a girl that's like sad walking with a dude that's happy with his robot. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Like uh, Down like an apartment aisle. Did you guys ever see the movie Her from back in the day? Uh-uh. Yeah. You should watch it. It's 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 really very good. interesting. It's uh it's uh you know uh, I, need to, I need to start taking you up on movies that you said I think you'll like. Joaquin uh, Phoenix. Joaquin Phoenix and then Scarlett Johansson is the AI voice, and he slowly starts to fall in love with her. Yeah, you should watch it. It's 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 really good. Even back then, mm-hmm. when I was watching, I was like, "There's a part in the movie spoilers for people where everybody is on their phones, not paying. They're all walking. Everybody's on their phone, not paying it." attention to anybody i was like we're already kind of getting there yeah and this movie's just gonna make it worse because everybody's just talking to their phone it's it's we're almost there we're almost it's we're close we already have a bunch of social social anxiety problems out there bro covid just it it just enhanced that even more times 20 yeah i knew man never mind it's a shame you know that was five years ago yeah yeah man it was announced five years ago that's crazy. We're getting old quick, man. I wanted to uh what you while, got? while we're going back, I was going back through my uh my Instagram back today. It was very I went all the way to the bottom. All the way to the bottom. Yeah, and I was just kind of scrolling through and I was like, you know, I've 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 I wouldn't say I matured a lot from my Instagram, but my I used to try to be I wanted to be funny. Like I wanted to be yeah. and I was funny. I was fucking hilarious. I don't care what anybody says. I was fucking You're funny. All right. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> um but I just hated like I remember that time being it was it was very rewarding to for people to laugh at the stuff that I would post. Right. But I remember 
it being stressful because I always felt like I had to be funny. Right. I always had to be this funny guy. Yeah. I can't honest, just post anything. It has to be funny. I has to be. It has to be funny. It's what people expect. Uh, I'm glad that I, I eventually I like got out of that, but just like. Man, I don't know, but the the reason I brought this up is I yeah. the the Yeezus tour was a it's essentially it was eleven years ago right. in about in about a week. That's not yeah. We talked about that when we were um, in L.A. And uh, to, for me, it was still that's still the the best concert I've ever seen in my life. Just the fucking the whole. It's just, over. Incoming. Yeah, Sorry. I mean it just the whole shebang. I I. I it, I want I more. I don't think. I don't think. I'll, even when I saw him again, like three years later, the St. Paul tour, it just wasn't. It wasn't as fire. It was still good. Right. It just wasn't that easy. So that Yeezus tour was like fucking. I don't know. It's just. I. It was a. It's like a moment in time I'll never forget. And I don't think. I don't know if I'll ever see a concert better than that. I really don't. It was a great show, man. I really don't think it was I really have. awesome. What? Uh, and I wanted to ask you guys, like, what concerts have you guys been to that was like the greatest shit you've ever seen? You. You don't think you'll ever like. Forget that shit when you see when you see right. it. I saw Rage Against the Machine in like 08. Okay. For Rock the Bells in San Francisco. Nice. And uh He's jealous. They're fucking <laughs> like it was unsafe. Like oh, wow. like not just a pit. Like it was like I remember being smushed between people and like having no control over which direction I was going. Mm -hmm. And that, like that could you breathe? I could breathe, but like it was like it was scary. That happened to me at yeah. um, um, NERD uh, at the it was the Sun God Festival at UCSD. I believe it. I was all the way at the front, and I was like, I'm gonna see fucking yeah. It's my favorite band, right. or one of my favorite bands. I'm not gonna say they're my favorite because that's Club Seven is my favorite. This is one of my favorite bands of all time. The first song, I'm like. This is amazing. I'm right here, right. but I'm getting moved. I'm, and I'm a big guy. Yeah, I, I was like, I can get out of there. I, I can. I couldn't. I was yeah. getting wow moved, and I there's I, nothing you can do. I was to that. like, this. If I lose my footing once, I'm fucked. So yeah. I I got out because yeah. I was like, I don't like it. And there was a girl next to me. I was it's like, shit scary. I, dude. I told the girl next to me, I was like, you should leave because I can't even control what I'm doing. Yeah. She's like, no, I'm gonna stay. I don't know what happened to her. Hey, God. I, I was want like, it more. Wasn't, it wasn't worth it. it Streets wasn't. say she's dead. How can you do this? <laughs> so I just went off to the side. I could see him like well enough. I was like, hey, listen, that this is good enough for me. I'm not going to. Like, because I couldn't even enjoy it after a while. Because I was like, dude. But yeah, I was getting. I, I went from like this part of the stage all the way like, to over here. I was like, dude, fuck this. No. Yeah. Not worth it. Not worth it. Yeah. That band is like different than what they are now. I, I did. I. I Wu Tang opened up for them. Wow, cool! And like I saw Method Man cry, nice. crowd dived right into me and my friends, and we like carried wow. Method Man for a second. I was pretty fucking awesome. What about you, Drew? Uh, so I saw a few bands. Uh, obviously, uh, I'm gonna say Kanye. That was a fucking awesome show. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of it's because you were there, and wow. I know how much you enjoyed it. it was uh, I I saved your life. You did so, save my life with um, that water. With that water. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I was going fucking crazy. Yeah. People don't understand, man. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. went, he went hard. So like the Kanye one, <laughs> I raged because right. yeah. I was so happy. Right. And then yeah. like the S Club Seven, I was so emotional because it was more of like a uh, sentimental, for my sentimental sure. childhood thing. So that yeah. So like Kanye went fucking crazy. As I said, I was just like happy. Like I couldn't believe I was in a different country seeing them. It sure. was like fucking crazy. Um, yeah. But what else? What I, I mean, I, I I'd have to say Lincoln Park. I saw. Oh, okay. oh nice. that's nice. fucking I've dope. Never, I've never oh, you think so? Oh, I thought. It was, I yeah, think that's hella was, dope, yeah, dude. Cool. Yeah, yeah, it was cool. I've I, never seen them. I, I really liked that one. And then uh, I also got to throw the Pixies. Uh, the Pixies was a great that's show sick. live. That was my introduction to who Kim Deal was. Uh, she sang Into the White, and that was just like. I was like, what? What is this fuckery of beautiful music? It was just mm. such a such mm. a great. Great sonically, just like very cool show. I was zoned out in it. I, I didn't. I wasn't doing drugs. But I was just like yeah. lost mm -hmm. in the music. I was like, this That's is so awesome. so great. Uh, Lincoln Park was more of a like I I have to see him. Right. And Kanye was. I'm gonna go see my best friend. It was awesome. Yeah, he had a That's great, awesome. Great great show. So uh, I'd say those those are the most memorable. I've seen a few other bands, not not much, but I'd say that those are the those are mm -hmm. bands and. That I've wanted to see, and I was uh, lucky and thankful to be able to do them because uh, Chester's gone now, and then Kim yeah. Deal's no longer a part of the Pixies, mm. and 
uh, Kanye's out of his mind. So we're ahead. Of, <laughs> so um, I'm I'm just you really you know in my life you know. Uh, uh, there's a lot. There's a lot of things I got to do that I'm glad I got to do them in the time Same. that I got to do. Them. Same. You know. Same. Just really, really grateful to 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 been where I was and met the people that I did meet. Mm-hmm. I've met pretty much everyone I wanted to meet, uh, except with the uh, uh, without um, without Steve Jobs. But mm-hmm. you know, with him, uh, uh, I don't know if I would have really. If that was really gonna be a fruitful experience or not, because he might say, "Get the fuck out of here, kid." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, yeah. You maybe, were. maybe not. Maybe, you maybe never, not. You never know." Yeah, uh, know. and of course, Matt Anakin. So I mean, shit. Oh yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 uh, that's trees. And Ewan, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. Yeah, you met Ewan McGregor, and that's that's the. <laughs> I wanted to meet Anakin. Yeah, it's cool that he was there. Yeah. It, but if it would have just been Anakin, I would have been just. I'm right. a I'm a Obi Wan guy. Me too. I love the Obi Wan character. Me too. I was an Obi Wan guy from uh, one and two, and yeah. then three it flipped. <laughs> that's that's cool. Three it flipped. Yeah. He's jealous. He's jealous. Yeah. He flipped. The fuck is that? We're winding down. Already? What, I'm, what are we at? 56 minutes. Oh, Speed shit. it up, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, what else you got? I got uh, just a, a really funny one. If your girl has a dream about you cheating, does she have the right to be mad at you? <laughs> no. Right? You think no, it's not think, real. You would no. think. I wouldn't even entertain that. I, I wouldn't entertain it as a joke, but it's just being, right. ser- it's just being serious. I'm like, listen. You're gonna have to get through this on your own. I'm not doing this. I but I, that's that's me. That's me. I don't entertain silliness. And if you are an adult woman and can't see that you're being silly, you're gonna have to process this on your own. Right. Not doing, I'm ha- not doing this with you. I have a friend who is married to a psychopath, and I'm not <laughs> friends with this guy anymore because and of his wife. Because of his wife. Wow. Yeah. The big reason why, mm-hmm. and uh, it literally like caused a rift in their marriage. That's of this. that's so. But like, the, gr- I've seen on TikTok that girls do take that seriously, and it's like, what fucking ego trip are you on <laughs> to where you're like, my dreams are reality? Like you're. I can understand you having a dream that upset you, yeah, and it like really just kind of rattled you a little bit, yeah. But to actually be mad at your partner for a yeah. dream, you're you're insane. You're cuckoo. You're batshit. Like insane. Let it go. Like if you're being funny, like no fuck you. You kiss a girl like oh yeah yeah yeah. yeah. But if you're like actually mad, mm, you gotta yeah. figure this out on your own. I'm not. I'm not doing this. I'm not. And you can't. Even, you can get mad all you want. I'm not doing this. So, um, I was the <sighs> yeah. Lay it out. God damn it. Uh, I'll save the other one for next week. I just wanted to say. What do you want to say? I came on the show a couple weeks ago and said the Penguin show is terrible. I did not like episode one. Right. This is probably the best show on TV right now, easily. I, I don't see a show beating this. What? They're fucking cooking. And they have this character named Sophia Falcone. <laughs> and this is how you do a strong female character without having people roll their eyes mm. in disbelief or just just feel or have people feel like you're insulting their intelligence. Like everybody loves her, they love her so much they kind of want her to get over on Penguin, and the show's about Penguin. It's <laughs> the show is so good. Wow, let it's the show's cooking. Wow, right now. you watched the episode cooking. last night. Yep, I haven't yeah. watched it yet, so okay, I'm gonna okay, watch okay. it tonight. Yeah. Episode four was one of the best episodes in TV I saw in a, in a while. Wow. It was very, very good. It was very good. And I was just like, oh, I mean, maybe Sophia ain't that bad. Like, I mean, it show's really good. It's really. Really, really good. So I was surprised when you texted us that. I know that's why I was like, I had to come back here and and and, and apologize because Treasy's already been giving me shit because mm. I, I I didn't <laughs> like episode one though. It was I didn't think it was a good. I did not think episode one was good. So, so. does this mean that Joker two is good now? No, fuck out of here. No, mm. not with that singing shit and uh, Joker one was trash. So no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. I'm glad that everybody's shitting on Joker because I really didn't like Joker one. I really didn't think it was good. It, so. it, I never get sick of it when you when you post the let's fight somewhere empty. <laughs> it, it never gets old. Yeah, it, it never, never gets, old. gets old. Never gets old. Oh my god. Um, damn, that, that was a quick one. We 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 did that fast. Yeah. Yep. Um, well, that sounds like a show, folks. Yeah. Happy know. Halloween. We'll catch it's you over. guys next week. It's over. Oh shit. It's over. 
It's over. It's over. <laughs>